Vamos con cinco, vamos a esperar un par de personitas más. Vamos con cinco, vamos a esperar un par de más. Somos seis de momento. Ok, chicos, solamente esperamos a una personita más porque somos 20 y algo y solamente estamos 8 aquí. Bueno, dos personas. Voy a dar hasta las 9 y 6. E igual nos vamos a quedar más tiempo, no se preocupen.
Okay, chicos. There you go. ¿Se recuerdan lo que estuvimos viendo ayer? ¿Quién se recuerda más o menos? You, uh -huh. Use uh, can and should. Excellent, very good. Uses of can and should. Excellent, very good. Now. There you go. Okay, what do you suggest? Let's go to listen first. Quiero ver si compartí. Compartí sonido. Yes, excellent. Uh, and we're just going to listen. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Once again, please. George is going to listen once again, okay? Hold on, please. Preste atención por favor vocabulario. I'm sorry. Please pay attention to the vocabulary and to the models. Okay, remember that the models que estamos viendo anteriormente, the models is talking about may, should, y vamos a explicar más a profundidad eso, porque queremos mencionarle más énfasis en las diferencias. Okay, one more time, please. Model verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Help you? Yes, yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, if you pay attention here, okay, just hold on. It is talking about, it is mentioned key. First of all, hold on, please. I do apologize. I do apologize. Si se fijaron, cuidado, si Hi, ready okay, to I'm sorry. Uh, here it appears some kind of models. Who can detect what are the models here? Okay, ¿quién me puede detectar los models aquí? Hi, wait, wait, wait. may I help you? <laughs> yes, please. Hmm? What are the models there? What? Okay. Let me see. Could mm. could you please could you please read? <laughs> yes, lo estamos diciendo. Read the phrase of could. Could I have something for a cough? May. Okay, excellent. May. Could. Excellent. What else? Sure. Hmm? Can you suggest anything? Can. And. Okay, no, 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 no. It no. is me. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, yes. Could, could, me, and the other one is can. can. Yes, excellent, can. very good. Okay, oh. and the other one is should. Okay, pay attention. May, could, I'm sorry, may, could, should, and can. Oh. Okay, now let's go to continue with the next. Pay attention to this video, please. Hello, 
everyone, this time we will be introduced to the modal verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay. So, if you pay attention, let me see. Before to start. Okay. <clears throat> Anteriormente se los expliqué. So, yesterday we were talking about that can, yes, could, okay, or could, and may. And yes, expliqué. Can, it could be for an ability, okay? Should, as an advice, could, as a, a ability, and also could be as a permission, right? Okay, could, it could be like a formal, formal way to request. Request. Possibility. Possibility, I may. Or permission. It will have another one that is must. Se lo puedo enseñar de igual manera. Oh. Ya lo tenía aquí. El must. Okay. Okay. Before to start, guys, antes que empecemos, ustedes ya saben cómo utilizar el can y el should, ¿correcto? Right. Okay. So by this moment, I want two sentences per each one if it's not one. Could you please uh, make a sentence per each one? One or two sentences per each one. Using can and using should. De nada me sirve que lo estemos explicando si no lo estamos poniendo en práctica. So please do two sentences. Por favor, hagan menos oraciones. You have three minutes.
can dry up and may help you. Cool, may, can, sure, sure, can, can do, can, is a bit permission request, can, what sure, make, y call. Amos, mm, supongo, no. Moth, mos, 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 ¿Ya terminaron? Ya está hecha. Ya está hecha. Ok, ok, perfecto. Ok, vamos a ver quién ha terminado. Ok, ok, ok. Well, por favor, me puede leer. Um, could you please read, Mr. Oh, well, let me see. No, um, Rosa López, could you please read it? Your first sentence. Vamos a leer una por uno. Your first sentence. Ok. Mm. Um, can I eat your apple? Um, she should visit her grandma. May I go to the party this weekend? They must wear mask every day. Or oh, they must wear a an uniform. And could you cook the dinner for me, please? Ok, ok, ok. Se me adelantó bastante, solo quería las primeras dos, no se preocupe. Ah, Parece que... ah ok. Ok, Carla, ah. can, can, you, can you please just, um, can you please tell me like, the, the things that you do? No, no he terminado, Carlita. Uh, uh, yes, you can come, come early tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh, can you repeat the question? Can you, okay? 
only only teacher that can. Okay, now, okay, pay attention to this. Remember that can is for an ability, permission, or request. Now, most of this, it will be good for a formal request. Could you please, could you please repeat the question? Pueden ser amigos. Can you repeat the question, teacher? Or could you please repeat the question? Yes. It's okay, pero ustedes estamos bien aquí, no se preocupen. Estamos bien, cualquiera de los dos. Excellent, very good. Joel Carrillo, please, go ahead. Okay. <coughs> How can you play the piano? Can you talk in Germany? You should run to the hills. I should buy a bandage to sort of Moscow. That's it. Excellent, very good, very good. Ya voy a corregir ciertas cosas, no se preocupen. But I want you just to Thank see you. Lisette, for example. Después corrijo un par de cositas. Lisette. Okay. Um, can I have a bottle of water, please? Y you shouldn't call him last night. That's it. Excellent, very good. Ya lo voy a corregir, tranquilos. Mauricio Lima, go ahead, please. She be book be book at ten. It must you take care of children. Can I help you? Can I have a drug? Call I have some for a cup. Might I have a bottle of aspirin? Okay. Okay, I do apologize, Mr. Please repeat again. I was taking notes. Could you please once again repeat it? <clears throat> hello, hello. Okay. We're just going to continue with them. Tanya, could you please continue? Uh, can I see you on Saturday? Uh, you should drink more water. Okay, okay, let me see. Now, Marcela Linares, ya vamos a sacar qué es lo que sucede aquí. Tranquilos. Marcela Linares. Okay, uh, can I borrow your pen? It can get very cold at night. You should get another girlfriend. Mariela should study more. Uh, you should take a pill. That's it. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. Now, uh, let's going to see, hold on please. No se preocupen que estoy tomando notas, chicos. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Rosa Lopez, go ahead. Can I eat your apple? She should visit her grandma. May I go to the party this weekend? They must wear mask every day. Or they must wear a uniform every day. Mm, could you cook? Está bien. Está bien, está bien, está bien. Porque el no se preocupen, chicos, que tranquilo, ya lo vamos a ver. Ok. Eh, Who else? Eh, Levanten la manita. ¿Quién no ha pasado? Yo. Ok. Ana. Están bien esas oraciones, teacher. No. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver. La, la manita la levantó primero Lorena, porque eh, lo que les he dicho a veces que no pueden levantar la manita. Go ahead, Lorena. I go to the beach on Saturday. I can make pupusas very well. They should enjoy their new house. I should clean my house frequently. Okay, 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 it's just taking notes. Excellent, very good. Um, let me see. Vamos a ver, aquí dos participaron, dos levantaron la mano. Michelle Muñoz, go ahead, please. Um, can you go to the supermarket? Um, can you play volleyball? Okay. Can you go to the supermarket? Okay, can you play volleyball? 
Now, presten atención a esa oración. Okay, can you go to the supermarket and can you play volleyball? One is that probably it is asking for a request. Que ahí sí está con alguien. Y hacen requests. Come on, please. Can you go to the supermarket? I need milk and I need some bread. Necesito leche y algo de pan. Okay, that would be a request, right? However, if we're talking about uh, can you play basketball? Can you play soccer? It will be different because in that case, it will be as an ability. Can you play? Can you play the piano? Can you play soccer? It's it. Isael Vieda, go ahead, continue, please. Can sweet see? My girlfriend should learn to swim in the sea. Isael, we don't listen, no le escucho muy bien. Acérquese más al micrófono, por favor. Can swing in the sea? My girlfriend should learn to swing in the sea. Okay. Someone else? Are you mess? Anna. Go ahead, Anna. Uh, what can I do in El Salvador? What should she there? Uh, I can drive airplane. May I help you? Could you please close the door? You must go, go to the hospital. Okay, excellent, very good. There you go, excellent, excellent. Now, vamos a ver un poquito. Nadie más, alguien más, someone else? Okay, Jacqueline, go ahead. Okay. Um, I can play violin. I can read a book. Uh, people should wash their hands constantly. And people should use masks in the street. Excellent, very good. Only. There you go, excellent. Ahora vamos a explicarlo más a profundidad. Thank you very much, guys. Excellent. So, we have some models. Esto no son todos, ¿verdad? We have some of them here. Okay, as you can Ten see. Cuidado. What? I'm sorry? ¿Alguien dijo algo? Cuidado. Okay, tal vez no lo vi. Okay, so, can it could be like an ability? Como lo mencionamos anteriormente. I can play, I can swim. Permission, can I, uh, can I go to the party? Can I drink water? Yes, it is a permission, it could be a request. Can you go to the party with me? Can you take me to the supermarket? Can you please help me? So in that case, it would be also a request on a petition. Should, it would be so on a suggest or an advice. Okay, suggest, to suggest. To suggest or an advice, okay. So you should study more, okay. You should pay attention. You should, uh, what else? You should change from your job, etc., etc. Okay, you should do exercise. You should stop or you should quit smoking. Okay, now, could formal way to do a request. Could you please help me? Okay, could you please open the door? Okay, could you please, it is a formal way. It is a formal way to say it. Okay, and the next one, it could be more than that, a permission, voy a quitar el possibility. Voy a quitar este. Possibility. Okay. La más quitar para mientras. Uh, okay, just hold on, please. Okay, I, one minute, please. Okay. Yes. Oh, feel about call permission. Okay, permission or to ask something or to risk it. Okay. May I go 
Yes, mira, go to the bathroom, el típico que decían cuando estaban pequeños. Um, mira, what? Mira, participate on, I don't know, on the event, en el evento, etc., etc., right? You are doing also a request, permission request. Okay, more this will be just a request to do a request. And must, de momento tienen preguntas, después lo vamos a ver con ejemplos. El must, presten atención con must. It could be as an obligation or it could be like a supposition. Okay, this obligation, it means, obligation significa that there is no choice. You have to do the action and it's not option. You have to do it. For example, uh, I pay the rent here, it is on the bedroom. So for example, my landlord won't say, hey Pam, you should pay tomorrow. Deberías pagar mañana. No, <laughs> soy su inquilina. Pam, you may pay tomorrow. No, Pamela, you could, you could pay for tomorrow. Podrías, eh, lo podrías hacer de mañana, no te preocupes. No, you must pay tomorrow. Okay, for example, my friends invite me right now to hang out. Okay, so I will say like, no, I'm sorry, why? I won't say no idea because I should pay the rent. Porque debería pagarle. No, it's because I must, porque tengo que hacerlo. There is not an option. If I don't pay the rent, my landlord would take me away. Simplemente I say goodbye, right? So it is something that is not choice. Um, on our people, okay, I think that I already told you that I have epilepsy, I think, yo tengo epilepsia. So, some people told me, uh, when I hang out, cuando salgo, I have to tell them, hey, I forgot my pills, okay? They tell me, no, no worries, Pam, it doesn't matter, I deja la que se te que no importa. So, let's enjoy to the party, que me toca hacer. I'm sorry, but I must take my pills okay in some way it is an obligation it's something como digo, un deber. i mean it's a responsibility vamos a ponerlo también como responsibility responsibility in some way is an obligation also a responsibility responsibility i do apologize guy okay it's a responsibility okay an obligation Yes. In this case, it wouldn't be an obligation. No es una obligación. Es como un deber. It's something really necessary. Okay, extremely necessary. Extremely necessary. Y aquí vamos con la otra que dice. You don't have no choice. It's not an option. Si yo no me tomo las pastillas, ahí nomás caigo con una convulsión. Okay. You have kids, guys. Some of you have kids. It's not a choice. It's not a choice. I should uh, do dinner. I should give to my kids food. It's not a should. Is you must. Tienen que alimentar. You must feed your kids. Okay. If the man goes away from the house, okay, he should pay me. He should pay for my kid. No, that man must pay for his kid. <laughs> Tienen que pagar por su niño. So yes, there are obligations. There are responsibilities. There are something that is necessary someone that has uh, diabetes, okay? It is not something that it's going to uh, quit the candies or sweet things or something that probably she or he needs, okay? ¿Qué pasa si no se toma, no, no, no consume azúcar? She or he must quit or she or he must take candies. Tiene que dejarla, puede ser, o la otra tiene que consumirlo, okay? But it is a must. No es un, she should take a candy. No, she could take a candy. She can take a candy. No, she must take a candy. Okay, she must eat sweet or she must quit sweet. Porque si no se va a morir, it's going to happen something. Ya está hospitalizada tres veces. She must. Okay, so do you get the idea? ¿Se entiende? Okay. Okay. Seguro, por favor. ¿Alguna pequeña confusión? No. 
Vale, al menos ya tenemos más o menos en qué sí la diferencia de cada uno. Son los morals. ¿Ok? El contexto lo dice todo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, creo que les dije un ejemplo a estos chicos. ¿Ok? Ah. Entre el que, quiero ver si están las, las jovencitas, las chicas jóvenes. ¿Ok? No sé si hoy vinieron. Sí, ahí está una. En había otra chica, creo. No está, no sé. O capaz que tiene la foto. Ahí está otra y otra ligadita. Ok. There you go. So, for example, here we have, can I hang out with my friends? It is talking about permission. You can go. Claro. Anda. Pero es tu problema porque no te di permiso. Okay. So, asumí tus consecuencias. Yes, you can. So, that's why I'm just asking, can I hang out with my friends? Le preguntan a su mamá o los esposos. Can I go to drink some beers? Puedo ir a beber un par con mis amigos. So I start campaigning, okay? With both, right? With your kids and with your husband. So it is talking about permission. Can I hang out with my friends? Si no, si está bien parcial o si el hombre está con cuestiones o la mujer. I don't know. Something like that. Or even to your boss. Can I just go to vacations? Can I take a vacation? Yo que estoy en mis vacaciones. Okay? So... You can't. Simple. You don't have permission at the job. No tiene permiso. Uh, probably you have to take care of your wife. Tiene que tomar cuidado de su esposa o de su esposo. You can't. You have responsibility. And uh, you guys, you ladies, you are young. Okay. Sí, se puede escapar, pero tienen el permiso. You can't. Okay. You can do it, but you are not allowed to do it. Okay. So that's why it entered the model. Ahí es cuando entra el model. Okay, now, aquí están diferentes. I can play the guitar. It is an ability. Presta atención a esto, an ability. Can you help me? It's a request, una petición. Or also, can you go to the party with me? It's a request. Okay, can I hang out with my friends? Esto es un request o es una ability? O es un permission. Permission, ya lo habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, ojo. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? O mejor dicho, que, ¿cuál es el correcto utilizar? Can I hang out with my friends? Or should I hang out with my friends? What is the correct sentence? Can I? Can I? ¿Todos están de acuerdo con quién hay? Sí. Yes, teacher. Oh. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. We can I. Ok. I'm agree too. Yo también estoy de acuerdo. Pero también estoy de acuerdo con el should I. Ok, a los adultos. Sí hay bastantes adultos, pero es que estamos ya treintones o mayores. Um, tenemos toda clase de entorno social, ok, we have different environment, y si yo vengo a reunir con la promoción de antes, but you already know that those guys or those people entered in something that is wrong or that is not okay, o pueden que tenían su grupito de cinco cuando estaban jóvenes, pero uno de ellos se descarriló, iban a hacer una fiesta, ok, y ustedes están, un momento, este se metió e hizo esto, esto, esto. Y lo consultan con su esposa. I want to go. Ustedes ya tienen el carrito, tienen el permiso y pueden hacer lo que ustedes quieren. Pero dicen, es que no sé si ir, porque va a estar fulano y me van a relacionar. Es que no sé si. So, should I go? Should I drink? No sé si tomarme esto, si tomar algo, porque estoy con antibióticos. What do you think? Should I drink? No, you are va a costar siempre algo de no de base. Ok, no, do not go. Or, las mujeres que somos inseguras. Yo soy una. I don't feel comfortable. Uh, there's a lot of people there. Todos se ven bonitos y todos se ven nice. And I don't know. I, I don't want to go. Ok, eh, por complejo. I don't want to go. Ok, toda la gente se ve nice y bonita. You know. What do you think? Should I go? And my friends are always like, come on, just go. Ok, enjoy, enjoy. Ok, so it is exactly that. Should I buy this? ¿Qué piensan? Le preguntan al, al, al esposo, el, esp el esposo a la esposa. ¿Qué piensas? So, should I buy this? 
la esposa es la que lo tiene. No, por esto contas tan, 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 compras esto. No, ok, no, ya es en caso. <ríe> so, basically, it's at, you have the money, tienen el dinero para desperdiciarlo y botarlo, si lo tienen, ¿verdad? O tienen el carrito y pueden ir a la fiesta. Pero ya estamos treintones, ya estamos rucos, y ya no podemos ir a cualquier fiesta, tanto como por el entorno social, tanto como porque no tenemos el mismo, perdón para los jovencitos, si es cierto, y algún día se acuerda de mí, no tenemos el mismo metabolismo, el mismo cuerpo, la calidad de vida, ya no pueden ir a una party destroyer, que de verdad no, hacían sí. esto, ¿eh? y les hacían todo, y los chicos creo que ya lo experimentaron, más que todos los chicos, verdad si es que los invitaron a una fiesta así, ya no van a ese tipo de fiestas, se ponen mal, so it is basically that, you have, tienen energía, you already have, but should I go? No, it's not necessary, ya resuena, para qué? Now, you can go here, you can come, should I study English? Tiene el dinero, tiene la facilidad, that's up to you, yes, you can do it, should I study? That's up to you, it's your decision, do you think that is a waste of time? Para los jóvenes, le voy a decir, Should I do it? Come on, girls. You must do it. For the adult, mayor de 30, it's your choice. Okay. But another one, for me, it is must. Para el resto de los jóvenes, it's must. No, you should not. It is a should and it's a must. Para mí. Okay. Alguien me preguntaba ya. Teacher, ¿y cómo lo voy a diferenciar? Me dijo. ¿Cuándo es should y cómo saber si se combina y todo eso? Contexto, chicos. Contexto. Nuevamente. Por eso les puse precisamente estos dos ejemplos. Porque así como en mi percepción, for me, I could say, can I hang out with my friends? ¿Ok? And should I hang out with my friends? ¿Ok? Ambas están correctas de acuerdo de su percepción. ¿Ok? Can I buy a car? Should I buy a car? ¿Ok? Las madres o sus esposas. Um, no le van a preguntar también el quién hay, ellas lo van a hacer but ellas tienes que preguntarse should I buy this Porsche? should I buy esta como se llama la que ocupan ahora las señoras freidora de aire tienen su freidora <risa> entonces ya saben que algunas mamás ya tienen su freidora, tienen que pensar señores, por favor, la necesitan should I buy this fryer? it's expensive think about it <risa> okay. should you buy it? it's not necessary pero que en su conciencia, que se van a dar su lujito. Ok, so basically it's that. Ok, questions? No? No, thanks, I'm very good. Ok, Lizette, Rosa, somewhere else? No? No. Yo creo que les quedó a la mayoría ya con la freidora de aire. <laughs> Teacher, is correct, is correct, the can, can, if, de can o food. Ah, eso iba, es que unos chicos en la clase pasada me estuvieron preguntando, ¿y cómo voy a hacer? Y yo, pues, así como hay palabras que también, porque me dice, hay palabras que son unidas, me dijo. Y yo, sí, hay palabras que son unidas, pero tienen que analizar el contexto. ¿Qué implica esto? The can, can eat, the can of food. Aquí son tres diferentes. Por, ah, porque me preguntaron el may. Me dijeron, teacher, pero May significa mayo y el May significa no sé qué. Es un model. Entonces yo le dije, ¿y? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Y en eso es road and type. May I go to Cancún o May? Analyze the context. No se significa que hay dos mayos, ni que hay dos May. Ya se sobreentiende. Can I go to Cancún? ¿Y cuándo? O May, May, ¿ok? The next one. They can, can eat the can of food. Tres significados diferentes. Can. Canino. Poder. Lata. Can of soda. Can of food. The can can. I can do it. Okay. So the can can eat the can of food. I had had a dog before. Ya había tenido. Okay. Hablando otro tiempo diferente. Es otro tiempo que no lo han visto ahorita. Give her her pencil. Dale a ella su lapicero. Okay. I'm sorry, so let's thank you. Okay, so no questions? More questions about it? Teacher, uh, excuse me. Uh, how, how do you write uh, moro? Moro. Moro. What is moro? Moro? Uh, 
Eh, ¿Motor? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. no. Eh, eh, es may, eh, should, can, should. Es, eh, you um, express eh, moral, moral. Ah, moral. Yeah. Wait, I'm oh, sorry. Moral. Ah, moral. Es que la... la La persona que sale en la plataforma dice modal, modal, no moral, modal. Okay, the models. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't heard models. Okay, okay. no, 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 Ok, uh, both are for permission, I'm sorry, for permission. Si bien es cierto, no se preocupen, no se confundan. Eh, let me see. No, los dos están correctamente para, para, permiso, para permiso. La única diferencia es que el can lo podemos utilizar para varias costos, cosas. En cambio, el may es más que tomo como un permiso. Ok, como un permiso. Eh, request, quiero ver. Mire, go. Yes, more than that is a permission. Más que eso es un permission. Y el otro es ability. Uh, ability, what else? Permission. The other one, request. Okay. So that's the only difference. But both, ambos son utilizados para, para permission. No se preocupe. Okay. Now, I'm mm -hmm. just going to do something with you guys. Lorena, I'm going to start with you. Ahora que saben la diferencia entre el can, must, and should. Uh, could you please start with the first one? Steven can play the drums really well. Okay, can play. Excellent. Steven can play. Rosa Lopez, go ahead, please. Number two. You, to, you must be quiet because dad is taking a nap. You must be quiet. You must be quiet because dad is taking a nap. Excellent. Very good. Okay. No. Yes, because there is no way you can't be quiet. It doesn't make sense. You shouldn't be quiet. The next one, please. Anna. Arthur, um, go shopping. He's really empty. Um, Arthur uh, must go shopping. His fridge is empty. Okay, excellent. ¿Por qué es must? Explíqueme, Ana. Porque no hay comida en el, en el freezer. Está vacío. Le toca, le toca. No está ahí con aire viviendo. Exactly. There you go. Excellent. He must go. No hay opción. No es una obligación. Ojo, aquí está el mismo ejemplo de todos. No es una obligación. But there is no option. Si quiere comer, que vaya al super. Excellent. Very good. Marcela, go ahead, please. Continue. Number four. Tim uh, shouldn't eat too ice cream. It's not a good idea. Excellent. Shouldn't. Exactly. Tim can. Él lo puede hacer. Ok. Entonces, a él nadie le ha prohibido. Alguien puede decir, Tim must not eat too ice creams. Probablemente si es un must not or mustn't. El doctor se lo prohibió. Lo mismo with the can't. Ok. Algo pasa y tal vez no tiene algo en el paladar. No puede, no puede saborearlos. Eso es un ejemplo, imagínenlo. Pero si tienes un niño gordito feliz y que no gusta ser gordito felices y él no tiene nada, so leave him. Don't be so noisy. Ok. No hay que ser meque si hay que dejarlo ser gordito feliz. Ok. But in this case, it shouldn't. Solamente, ah, oh, shouldn't. No, it's just no one is talking about exactly uh, something like an obligation or something like that. But excellent. It will be shouldn't. The next one, please. Um, Marcela, creo que es, no? Yes, go ahead, Marcela. Well, la otra. Bye. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, uh, you 
you shouldn't eat ma much fast food every day? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. You shouldn't eat much fast food every day. No deberías comer tanta comida, ¿verdad? Tanta comida rápida every day. Excellent. Um, Tanya, continue, please. Which one? Six. Seven. Uh -uh. Six. Uh, you shouldn't be afraid, Peter. You shouldn't be afraid. Excellent. No deberías porque. Okay. Ahora, what about qué pasaría si van a un lugar que saben que es peligroso? Yo solo les fui escenario, ¿verdad? El lugar es peligroso, pero tienen que estar atentos. ¿Cómo le van a decir? You shouldn't, you can, or you must not. Tienen que estar atentos, tienen que ser fuertes. You shouldn't. Must not. Must not. You must be strong. You must not be afraid. You can do it. Eso es lo que me en mente. No tenés que estar, no tenés que tener miedo. No tenés que estar nervioso. You must not. You must not be afraid. Ok, you can do it. No tienes por qué tener miedo. Y creo que algunos padres, usted, yo no soy mamá, pero se lo digo a mis sobrinitos. Entonces, you must not. No tenés por qué tener miedo. Ok. Sí, pero que el examen no tenés por qué tener miedo. Ok, be strong, you can do it. Puedes hacerlo. Yes, creo que muchos de ustedes lo han hecho. Ok. Now, continue, please. Uh, Carla María. Number seven. How many, no, how Nadia can't speak eight language? Excellent. Language. Yes, it doesn't make sense that says Nadia should. Ella debería, no, porque nos regañan a todos que deberíamos. Nadia must, no, porque nos obligan a todos. So Nadia can, ella puede hacerlo. Okay, excellent, very good. Then Mauricito, Lima, go ahead, please. A microphone, microphone, please. This is dangerous. They can sit down. This okay. is dangerous. They can sit down. Ellos siempre se pueden sentar cuando quieren y donde quieren. Él está advirtiendo, esto es peligroso. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué hiciera usted? Son pasajeros. Hay turbulencia en el carro, por no decir en el avión, ¿verdad? Como lo dijera, they can sit. Ellos siempre permanecen sentados en el, en el, en el medio de transporte. ¿Sí? This is dangerous. They should, they sit, should. Down. They should sit down. Excellent. Nunca han ido a estos póngamos. Se les dice póngamos. Eh, yo fui desde Sonsonate, todo Sonsonate a San Salvador, casi que más o menos, una cuestión así. Y créame, no es tan gracioso. Y se, se lo comento con experiencia, por si no se han subido, tienen que estar casi que acostados porque les caen ramas y va golpeando. Es lo peor. Yo iba con mis alumnos, que eran unos niños, tenía que cuidarlos y protegerlos. Y está en la parte alta, no es gracioso. Ok. Joel Carrillo, go ahead, please. Ok. Nope. Ok. Si tienen alguna pregunta respecto a una palabra, tranquilo. Sam Moss Project has skin with some sunscreen. Some cream. With some sunscreen. Excellent. Very good. Some sunscreen. Ok. Now. What do you think it is should, must, or can? Should. should. Okay, perfect. Now, exactly. Yo lo dejaría entre should y entre must. Voy a esto y estaba debatiendo con los alumnos anteriores. Porque hay personas que es muy bonita la piel. Son morenitos y de muy bonitas muchas personas que yo digo que odiosos estas personas. Es porque no necesitan 
ponerse bloqueador ni nada, están súper bien y no se lo ponen a lo mucho. Y yo les digo, you should, you should use some sunscreen. Entonces, pero no lo necesitan, ya están bronceados, no se dañan la piel, etc. But my doctor is my, uh, I don't know, se llama? Dermatolo my dermatologist, okay? If he sees me, uh, if he could see me like at the, at the beach and he sees me without the sunscreen, me va una gran reñada because I'm very white and I must tendencia que haya cancer de la piel. So he always told me, you must use, you must use, and you must use some sunscreen. Okay, y siempre tengo que utilizarlo. Okay, por los rasgos, ojos verdes, etc., etc., etc. So I must, in this case, más que hay ciertos lunares específicos. So I must, that is not an obligation. Okay, I was telling Nelson to the another group, for example, there are some things that it's uh, like an obligation, for example, and there is not an option. Okay, for example, to pay the rent, pagar la renta, or also talking about the glucosa or the pills, in my example, lo de las pastillas, si no tomo las pastillas, convulsiono, or someone with the glucosa or something like that, ustedes tienen que alimentar también a los niños, los papás, etc., 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 so it is a must. Now, in this case, that's why it's a must. It depends on the context. It depends on the context that you use. Okay? Continue, please. Mauricio, you can say, okay. Joel, you can say? Yes, right now. Okay. I'm sorry. Israel, continue, please. Don't worry, my sister. My sister Amanda baked the lip. My sister Amanda can bake. Delicious biscuits. Okay, Israel. What about if I told you my sister Amanda is going to work at the most famous restaurant of France? She, y que va a continuar. Con el she must, she can or she should. My sister is going to work at the one of the most famous restaurants in France. Va a trabajar en uno de los restaurantes más famosos de Francia. ¿Qué pusiera? Should, can, or must? Can. ¿Alguien más? Must. Must. ¿Por qué must? Porque es obligación trabajar. <laughs> Because she must Because get she work in a restaurant and she must cook the, the big delicious biscuit. Ella tiene que irse preparando. My yeah. sister is going to work, ya va para futuro, at the one of the top restaurants, the most delicious restaurant. No voy a decir, she no, should no. make delicious biscuits. Yeah. No, ahí la voy a matar. Yeah. Well, she can, no. You? She must. Okay. Like that. It's excellent. Very good. So no questions by this moment, guys. Ya son las 10 y 13. Creo que a muchos se me están también durmiendo como yo. Ok. ¿Estamos bien? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. There you go. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So see you tomorrow, guys. Lo veo mañanita, entonces. Cuídense mm -hmm. mucho. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.